Welcome to A Course in Miracles Workbook for Students. Lesson 102, I Share God's Will for Happiness for Me. You do not want to suffer. You may think it buys you something and may still believe a little that it buys you what you want. Yet this belief is surely shaken now, at least enough to let you question it and to suspect it really makes no sense. It has not gone as yet, but lacks the roots that once secured it tightly to the dark and hidden secret places of your mind. I'm going to pause and share in my personal experience. When I started questioning why I was holding on to grievances, I realized that it's because some part of me believed that holding on to those hot coals of anger and bitterness was somehow protecting me because it would help me remember how horrible that was. And so I would somehow be able to avoid it happening in the future. And that somehow by holding on to those burning coals emotionally, it would prevent getting hurt in the future, except for that it was hurting me now. And when I started to question that, I was like, oh, that really is insane. Why don't I put these hot coals down and let it go? Why don't I let it go? Today, we will try to loose its weakened hold still further and to realize that pain is purposeless, without a cause, and with no power to accomplish anything. It cannot purchase anything at all. It offers nothing and does not exist. And everything you think it offers you is lacking in existence like itself. You have been slave to nothing. Be you free today to join the happy will of God. For several days, we will continue to devote our periods of practicing to exercises planned to help you reach the happiness God's will has placed in you. Here is your home. And here your safety is. Here is your peace. And here there is no fear. Here is salvation. Here is rest at last. Begin your practice periods today with this acceptance of God's will for you. I share God's will for happiness for me. And I accept it as my function. Then seek this function deep within your mind, for it is there, awaiting but your choice. You cannot fail to find it when you learn it is your choice and that you share God's. Your ego may want you to suffer and pay for your sins. That's not what your true self desires. Be happy, for your only function here is happiness. You have no need to be less loving to God's Son than he whose love created him as loving as himself. Besides these hourly five-minute rests, pause frequently today to tell yourself that you have now accepted happiness as your one function. And be sure that you are joining with God's will in doing this. Such a beautiful lesson. God created you to know joy, peace, love. And not to be miserable. And not to damn ourselves.
and not to beat ourselves up for perceived mis mis mistakes or shortcomings. It's not. It's a routine. I share God's will for happiness for you. Thanks for joining me today, and I will see you tomorrow for Lesson 103.